Good day! Here are the top stories of the Manila Times for Saturday, October 24, 2020. Foreigners with investors' visas will be allowed to travel to the country starting next month, a move designed to further spur the recovery of the economy whose growth has been stunted by the coronavirus pandemic. Palace spokesman Harry Roque Jr. said on Friday the decision to ease travel restrictions starting November 1 was reached by the Interagency Task Force for the Management of Emerging Infectious Diseases or the IATF-EID during its meeting on Thursday. Roque said foreigners allowed entry include those with visas issued by the Bureau of Immigration, the Department of Justice, the Aurora Pacific Economic Zone and Freeport Authority, and the Subic Bay Metropolitan Authority. The traditional Black Nazarene procession or traslacion in January 2021 has been cancelled over health concerns from the pandemic, the Manila city government said on Friday. Mayor Francisco Isco Moreno Domagoso said the procession's cancellation was agreed on by City Hall and officials of the Minor Basilica of the Black Nazarene, the official designation of Quiapo Church. The traslacion usually attracts as many as 1 million worshippers who accompany the image in its journey to the Quiapo Church or line its route. It will be the first time in decades that the traslacion is being called off. Chief Justice Justado Peralta on Friday defended Justice Marvik Leonen from insinuations that he had been too slow in resolving cases that were assigned to him. Several justices and judges have questioned Leonen's competence and were disappointed that the High Court has not penalized him. Peralta said each of the court magistrates has his own way of resolving cases. He refused to comment on the judicial official's perception that the court is treating Leonen with kid gloves. Defense Secretary Delphine Lorenzana on Friday cautioned Lt. Gen. Antonio Parlade Jr. against linking actress Liza Soberano to the communist movement without presenting hard evidence to back his claim. Ade, spokesman for the ntfl CAC, said Soberano and Miss Universe 2018 Caciona Gray should be careful not to be exploited by the Gabriela Youth, which he described as a front organization of the Communist Party of the Philippines and its armed wing, the New People's Army. In other news, the House of Representatives Committee on Good Government and Public Accountability is open to investigating alleged corruption and irregularities in the use of government funds during the 30th Southeast Asian Games, which the Philippines hosted in 2019, its chairman said on Friday. Representative Jose Antonio C. Alvarado was reacting to calls for an inquiry into how billions of pesos were used in organizing the Bayinio sports event, which then-Speaker Alan Peter Cayetano headed as chairman of the Philippine Southeast Asian Games Organizing Committee, or FISCO. Clint Aranas, a ranking official of the Philippine Olympic Committee, also expressed doubts on the legality of tapping FISCO for the SEA Games and receiving funding from both the government and the private sector. C. Alvarado said, however, that he was not aware of any resolution that had been filed at the House seeking an investigation. An increase in COVID infections among its health workers forced the Dr. Josefa Bellia Memorial Medical Hospital to close its doors to admissions and services starting this Friday and their outpatient department starting on Monday until further notice. According to hospital spokesman Dr. Diana Rose Cahipe, seven of their obstetrics gynecology residents and one nurse have been infected with the coronavirus. In business, the government's fiscal deficit slimmed to 138.5 billion pesos in September as revenues in spending, both declined by double digits in the month. Data from the Bureau of Treasury showed on Friday. The shortfall was smaller than the 178.6 billion peso deficit a year earlier but higher than the 40.1 billion peso gap in August. Over to sports, Sebastian Munoz and Tiger Woods played an abnormal round of golf on Thursday or Friday in Manila with different results. Munoz, who twice holed out for an eagle from a distance of 219 yards, had eight birdies and despite a double bogey, three bogeys and only five pars that added to an eight under 64 still ended with a one-shot lead at the Zozo Championship at the Sherwood Country Club in Thousand Oaks, California. It was different for Woods, who, for the first time in his 1,277 rounds on the PGA Tour as a pro, made bogey or worse on three par fives in a single round. That led to a 4 over 76, his worst score in 49 rounds. 
that left him 12 shots out of the lead. Behind Munoz was Tyrell Hatton and Justin Thomas, who each had a 65. Rory McIlroy ended his round with a 73, while Phil Mickelson shot a 72. In Philippine sports, the Alaska Aces are on a hunt for their fourth straight win when they clash against the five-time defending champion San Miguel Beermen in the 6.45 p.m. main game of the PBA Season 45 Philippine Cup at the Angeles University Foundation Sports Arena and Cultural Center today. After losing their first games to the Morocco Bolts in the TNT Tropangiga, the Aces bounced back by posting consecutive wins over the Rain or Shine Elasto Painters, the Blackwater Elite, and the Magnolia Hotshots Pambansang Manok. The Beermen, who notched a 105-98 victory over the winless Terra Firma Jeep last Monday to end its two-game losing skid, are pressing on without six-time MVP Junmar Fajardo, who is recuperating from an injured right shin, and guard Terence Romeo, who is out for the rest of the season with an injured shoulder. Yen Macabenta and Ramon Tulfo are the featured columnists of the Times on its front page today. Macabenta writes about the protection, censorship, abdication, and the sorry display of U.S. journalism in the coverage of the U.S. presidential election. Tufo tells Public Works Secretary Mark Villar to take a hint from President Rodrigo Duterte and resign after the chief executive ranted about the corruption at the DPWH and yet cleared him for any wrongdoing. He says Duterte didn't want to embarrass Villar because his parents were big contributors to his 2016 election campaign. The Times editorial tackles the Department of Education's statement on recent reports linking suicides amongst teachers and students to the current distance learning program. Read the full version of the editorial on the opinion section of the Times or listen to the voice of the Times on YouTube and Spotify. For more news and information, get a copy of the Manila Times on print, subscribe to its digital edition, or log on to www.manilatimes.net. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and keep up with the time. Yes.